event. It was the one in, or well, one of them in Hildesheim, Germany. It was the day that Jermaine went on to make the final, lost out to Brendan Dolan. 100. The other times in a qualifier for the Euro Tour event in Prague. 99. Very, very difficult. The qualifiers for European Tour card holders this year on the European Tour. I'm 140. Sure the qualifying structure will change for next year. What it changes to, I don't know. 140. But Jermaine Motomena. Well, the way he's been playing, he's going to be one of the top seeds in various events. So he may not have to go through the qualifiers. 137. Can't find a way to take out the 48. And Gabriel Clemens. It's his first dart to the outer ring in this game. Missed one dart at bullseye. But double game 12 shot. is pinned first dart to break straight back and get on the board. Both men averaging 101. You kind of expect Gabriel. Once he starts a day and gets going, he's a bit like the man he's just beaten in the previous round, Alan Norris, who he built up ahead of steam. 180. And just seems to be able to chuck in ton plus averages all the way through the day. Really good to see Alan Norris back playing good 60. darts. Beats Michael Van Gerwen, averages 104 in an 11 leg thriller with Clemens, but ultimately goes out in the third round. But if Chuck is back, Good sign. 50. One hundred and twenty-three. Thirty-nine. Scruffy visit from Clemens. Just... 85. A suggestion that Jermaine can batter his way back into this. Just one point between them. That's where he wants to be missing if he's not finding that treble because he can use that dart just as he did there. They're very noticeable darts, those for Gabriel. 171. Oh, lovely stuff. The horse from Jermaine Watermaner. Oh, not having much fun on the bullseye. Triple 18, is that going any better? Not really. 44. So for a third consecutive break in this throw. In this game, sorry. 46. Missed opportunity from the machine gun. Clemens, 16 for double. 32. Oh, this time he can't slide those darts along a previous barrel. Can Watamena do it? Game shot. He can. He finds a bit of open bed. Last dart in hand, a pump of the fist. Just looks really comfortable nowadays, Jermaine. He, he feels, feels like he 95. belongs at this level. He did say in an interview recently, I think it was with the lads at the Weekly Dartcast, one hundred. Sort of pinch himself that he was playing for his country at the World Cup. There was he wasn't expecting to. He thought Raymond Van Barneveld might get it. One hundred and thirty-five. But as the second highest-ranked Dutch player behind Van Gogh, and he teamed up with Mighty Mike to represent the Netherlands. Of course, they were beaten by a sensational performance on the Irish side. But I think he's just 60. getting more comfortable with the idea, Jermaine, that he does deserve to be. Mixing it with the big boys. He wants 83. to win a title, he says. That's the, the big target for him. Got to get a PDC title. It's the next thing he needs to do. Seen him in finals. Seen him come close. 140. He's certainly amongst the most likely next new winners. But then again, the man he's playing here today. 180. Would be right up there as well as a potential new winner in PDC darts. Four 180s in this contest, three of them to Jermaine Watamena. 97. 97. Game shot. Very nicely done by Jermaine Watamena. One right on the outside, another one straight into the double. And Gabriel Clemens is in trouble. 140. 
140. Wild one from the German Giants. 135. Good adjustments. 137. 81. Gabriel Clemens did have the sexiest darts flights in the game for a while. They look like the old 90, Italia 90 German 125. World Cup footy shirt. Don't know what's happened to them. He's gone with plain white ones. Eighty-five. Starting on the nineteens. Sixty-seven. Just misses outside. Gabriel Clemens, you feel this has got to go. It would only be a hold of throw. Right side. Oh, straight over the top. 40. And there's the one for the right side, but he can't find it. And Jermaine Watamina game has got a stranglehold on this game. And he's looking like Watamina is going to power through to the quarterfinal stages once again. He is a regular 100. in the back end of these Pro Tour events. Back-to-back -back quarterfinals in Barnsley at the start of September. He had back-to-back first-round exits that followed that. 139. 180. It is another 180. And Jermaine Watermainer's average is over the ton. 85. Yesterday, he went out at this stage of the tournament. He lost to the eventual champion, Gerwin Price, who needed 105 average 93. to stop him. But today... It's Watamena with a ton plus average, and he's been unstoppable as far as Gabriel Clemens is concerned. 125. That dart skewing off into the five hurts his chances. 56. Watamena not going the 18s route. Could have given him a chance at a bullseye finish, but he's not going to be punished by Gabriel Clemens, who shakes his head. 64. And he's just about on the ton average here. It could be an incredible seventh ton average in a row for Gabriel Clemens. And yet, he Game goes out before the quarterfinal.